Hey everybody, it's your girly Empress Chanel coming at you with a blackout reading. Y'all know how I do early in the mornings. If I do one early in the mornings, shit, I'll do a blackout reading in the afternoon if I want to. Either way, it's a blackout reading. Yeah, my loving and most highest vibrational angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, totems, and guardians. I ask that you cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver this message. I ask that you cover my collective in the whitest light from the highest vibration as they receive this transmission. Gratitude, gratitude, and gratitude. All right, so basically what I've been getting is somebody, fire sign, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine. You don't have to be a man or a woman to be in fire sign, feminine, energy, just fire sign, feminine. Um, is upset. I'm talking about when I say upset, I'm talking about pissed off, angry, knocking shit over, all of that stuff. It's because they could not get someone to submit their control over themselves. Somebody has, this could be um, a masculine. We have been going through uh, the storyline, I guess, on my YouTube um, with my collective readings and the blackout readings over here for a little while where there's a masculine that would basically um, was connected to some sort of toxic group dynamic. I don't know if this was a family or business, whatever it is. And um, he basically was being pushed by his spirit team to move in a different direction or to go a different direction um, that his divine counterpart was elsewhere in that mission that he was in. Um, someone tried to bind this person to that uh, situation or, or to just some sort of drama. Um, or, and also somebody tried to bind somebody to some sort of thievery, some robbery or something like that. But it just didn't happen. Um, Someone tried to say that somebody was, um, like somebody called themselves giving up information to the police, but it was fake information. They tried to implicate somebody in some sort of crime, um, to get themselves kind of like out of trouble. Uh, they, I think they tried to say something. I think they were telling me somebody tried to say something about some sort of like home invasions, things like that, but it was fake. It was false. Um, Whoever this masculine is, like I said, he has grown. He's expanded his consciousness, his awareness about what's going on around him. He understands that there were some things that are just literally unforgivable. Um, the only thing that that you can do is forgive yourself for staying in the situation long longer than you needed to, uh, for catching certain karma that you didn't even need to be around for because you were being told to leave way beforehand. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like your spirit guides giving you a little tap on the hand like, I told your ass to go and you ain't move fast enough. <laughs> But whoever this is, they envy. They envy the enlightenment. They envy the enlightenment of this divine masculine or divine feminine. Um, yes, people have exes or partners or whatever it is that do envy them. Parents, siblings, all of that stuff. Um, they don't understand that you're the same as everybody. You have different challenges, though. They think that uh, your life is easy or whatever it is. But it, the thing about it is somebody is just going on their purpose. Um, going down their purpose or finding their purpose, knowing what you are here to do. Whoever this uh, fire sign feminine energy is has absolutely no... I'm getting... They just said Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm just going Sagittarius. Um, but they just... Uh, okay, okay, I'm hearing signs now. Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces. Keep going. Aquarius. Those are the only signs I'm hearing right now. But either way, um, someone was being watched over, all right? Um, I'm getting Archangel Metatron energy where there was um, some sort of temptation um, to snap out or to get angry or to get upset, um, to, um, to give uh, this opposition, this angry person. Um, I feel like somebody was trying to sabotage somebody's growth or movement forward. Um, by trying to make them angry and volatile and things like that um, to try to prove to them that they weren't as healed as they said they were. I don't know what this is, but this is this sounds very abusive. I'm not going to front. This is what it sounds like when a female is abusing a guy. Um, but either way, this masculine surrendered all of that to his angels. Like I said, I've been um, hearing, um, well, feeling, because y'all know I actually work with this energy the energy of uh, Metatron, Archangel Metatron. He helps you to develop your spiritual gifts and then he records in the Akashic Record what you do with said gift when you are given the choice of free will 
when you are given free will to do what you want to do with your gift whoever this masculine was he did the right thing he was he knew well I, whether he knew it or not he was being judged he was being judged by his ancestors by his spirit guides by his angels by his spirit team um and he did the right thing he released every fake person that was in his life false friends people who talked about this person behind their back um people who just wanted to one-up this person that's the only reason why they wanted to know what this person had going on in their life um releasing um ex-partner just growing period just surrendering the need to control what is going on in their life and metatron archangel michael whatever angel is on this person spirit team was like bet y'all you just gave us the go ahead i feel like this masculine was also praying and when i say surrender or gave up control he kind of like uh used his free will to give control over to his angels like for instance if i say i use my free will and i give all control to archangel michael to cut any energetic cord on every realm Archangel Michael is going to do it. All I have to do is sit back and release control. I don't have to make no moves. I don't have to do nothing except for what they are guiding me to do, which more than likely is to protect myself. Because most of the time when you try to cancel people out of your life, the first thing you need to do is protect yourself. Because the first thing they're going to try to do is retaliate on your ass because they won't think that you're doing something to them. When really they're just catching their karma. <laughs> Hey, you know it. You know it on the blackout. Actually, to be honest, I actually do have to ring you up. Um, hopefully, you'll be up for a little while longer and I can hit you up in a little bit. But yeah, basically, this masculine had heard the calling. Uh, like I said, I've been getting a lot of Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael, Archangel Sandalphon. That dang on music angel will not stop coming out for me. And Archangel Gabriel, the one who announces things. Um, he has that copper light. That's uh, for some reason I wanted to say that, but like I said, somebody wanted to knock somebody off their rocker. They tried to send a lot of people to do this too, like to fuck with somebody's mental. I told y'all the other day that somebody was sending some psychological warfare, spiritual warfare towards somebody so that they could f basically fuck up spiritually. They wanted somebody to kind of like um, follow a false. Uh, spirit or ancestor or angel or whatever that was that they had sent their way thinking that this person wouldn't know like we know who is on our light team we know who we pray into we know who our ancestors are we know the energy that we have around us if you are you know tapped in like that this person didn't think that you would be tapped in like that and they are pissed off that you rejected whoever this trickster spirit or energy or whatever it was that came through all right Somebody definitely tried to steal some sort of contract um, or partnership uh, away from somebody, basically, all out of jealousy. And it's for no reason because at the end of the day, if two people are charged to be together, whether that's romantically or with business, they're, they're going to do it. If God wanted to happen, it's going to happen. And these people got a god complex because they find themselves going against god because whoever this is you're not even doing anything but following what your spirit team is telling you to do and these people are going against that they want to go against that so bad they want that to not be for you so bad that they are going to get they got a god complex that's all i got to say but they they catching their fucking karma for going through that they catching their fucking karma for going through that shit you remove yourself from that situation, that's the best thing you could have did for your life because you were being tested by Archangel Metatron to see what you were going to do with your gifts. Were you going to use your gifts of discernment, um, visions, I feel like somebody may be having, dreams, whatever it is. Somebody is very psychic. I'll just put it like that. Whoever this masculine is, very psychic because we have sweetheart and we have the uh, lover here, which is king and queen of cups. That's a couple. That's very highly intuitive couple. They they go by they gut feelings, what they feel, how they feel. They get messages from spirit, both of them. And they both got the message of when to come together. Somebody tried to fuck with divine timing. And they still couldn't do it. And now look at them, all fucked up in karma. They probably got their car fucked up. Somebody was trying to plan on robbing somebody. All their money is fucked up. 
Like, it's coming back to them in different ways. If they planned on getting somebody's house, a home invasion happened to them, they probably got carjacked or money got stolen or they got more money coming out than they got coming in. So now they got to borrow money from people and all this other bullshit. These people getting sick. They having bad headaches and shit like that because they try to fuck with somebody's crown chakra in their head and stuff. Man, these people going through it. But it's okay because you're not. <laughs> you passed the test. Whoever this is, whatever test that they was trying to test you with to see if you would be tempted to go back to this group and to just fall back into whatever it was that you knew because it was comfortable, you didn't do it. It was a female that was trying to tempt somebody. Female fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it's okay. What we got coming out here? I'm going to grab a card. Page of Wands. That's good news coming up. All right. Knight of Wands. Some sort of moves going to be made. Somebody about to make a quick move. All right. Six of Wands is victory, success. So somebody finna make a power move, a power play that's going to put them on top basically because the six of wands is after the battle it's after the five of wands like when you won when people put you on that platform on that pedestal and they praising you like yo this the one right here all right we got the king of swords that's a masculine it's aquarius energy i called that earlier um you know that's the humanitarian that's the person who uh i don't know why i said humanitarian <laughs> but it has a lot a lot a large reach 11th house energy all right Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, and the world. Basically, like I said, a large reach to the world. World Wide Web or something that, uh, you know, the world can see. All right. So we have the Five of Cups right here. Of course, they're in regret. They're even, they're still in denial that they even had anything to do with screwing up this whole situation to begin with. So we going to leave them motherfuckers where they at. All right. Death card. Look, I ain't show y'all none of the cards, but look. Death card, Scorpio, because that shit is over. It's done. Period period ten of cups complete and total wish fulfillment happiness basically the happily ever after light at the end of the tunnel light at the end of the tunnel rainbow after the storm all of that shit ten of cups all right if nobody told y'all today i'm gonna tell you i love you hey yo please be on the lookout because i'm gonna call you soon all right bye